Sam Bargill did not see the blue sand ships looming up behind him. He was not aware of the inhabitants of the ships. Dark blue images, masked men, men with silvery faces and blue stars for eyes, men with carved golden ears, men with tinfoil cheeks and ruby studded lips, men following him, Martian men. Ray Bradbury's The Off Season. Would you? The sign? What for? Just do it. There. Ain't that beautiful? Sam's hot dogs. <laughs> you know, it wasn't easy to get that neon up here in one piece, all the way from Earth. Yeah, I know, Sam. Gee, if the boys from the fourth expedition could see me now, huh? All these years later. I finally got my dream place. Well, whatever happened to them? Mm. Um, oh, uh, Captain Wilder? Yeah, Wilder. And Spender? Spender? <laughs> that nut. He was going to save the planet. He killed a lot of good men. Mm. And Wilder? Eh, last I heard, he was off to Jupiter. Yeah? <laughs> He's probably retired by now. If he hasn't been killed in some fool expedition. <laughs> Too bad they aren't here today to see me. Twenty years later. <laughs> hey, Emmy, look. Look at this. I got something I want to show you. Looks like junk. It is not junk. It's glass and pottery. I thought I'd line both sides of the walkway with it. I've been collecting it up in the hills, huh? There's still lots of old Martian cities up there, you know. Don't they call that looting? Emmy. Here, do some sweeping while I arrange this stuff. Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. First man on Mars with a hot dog stand. Mm. Best onions and chili on two worlds. And what a location, huh? Right where two main highways come together. Two dead highways. Well, not for long, Emmy. When they start that mining project over there, trucks from the Earth settlement will be passing by here 24 hours a day. Oh, sure. Why, we might even have to put in some gas pumps. <laughs> and pretty soon there'll be thousands of work rockets coming from Earth with 10,000 hungry customers. Ha, huh. I'll believe it when I see it. They'll be here. Now, there. Finished. Yeah? How do you like it? Hmm. Oh, that broken glass looks like an accident waiting to happen to me. Well, I like it. And so will our customers. I tell you, this time next year, we'll be rich. Thousands and thousands of hungry people. <laughs> and all mine. Uh, Sam? Huh? Here's your first customer. You again. I've come to speak to you. I told you not to come near here. You could catch the disease. You could die. I have had the earth disease. Oh, why do you come down here to bother me? Go back to the hills. You belong. I'll go on. I have come for an important reason. I don't care. I don't like Martians. I told you that this morning. <laughs> How come I've been here 20 years and never seen a Martian? And all of a sudden you show up twice in one day. Leave me alone, can't you? The days of the Earthmen on Mars are over. Who says? Earth is doomed. This very night. Listen, don't talk to me about Earth. I'm from Earth, New York City. I don't need you telling me what's happening on Earth. 
Pretty soon there'll be 10,000 men coming from Earth to work on this planet. And sooner or later, they all got to pass by this hot dog stand. And most of them will stop in at least once or twice to have a bite to eat. And I'll be ready for them. And nobody, not even no Martian, is going to get in my way. You see this? It's a gun. After you left this morning, I got it out and loaded it. Sam, be careful with that. You will not listen. Then let me show you this. I have brought this for you. Drop it. I don't know what it is, but drop it. Now get on your way. It is important that you know. You don't think I'll use this, eh? Sam, don't. Oh, Sam. Now, go on. Get, huh? Next time I won't shoot at the ground. Tonight, watch the sky. The sky, Sam? Ah, he's nuts. Hey, look what he dropped. It's a scroll with some kind of picture writing. Martian scribbles. I can't read it. It's nothing. Forget it. Let's shut the sign off and go inside for a while. It wouldn't hurt to lock the doors either. Come on. Sweeping. The wind's blowing sand all over my clean walkways. Who cares? There's no customers. Well, there will be. You'll see. It may be quiet now, but... Shh. Sam, listen. What? I don't hear... Look. Out there, look. Emmy. Emmy. Here they come. They look like sand ships. But they can't be. They look like it to me. But they were all confiscated, sold to museums, sent back to Earth. I'm the only one in this whole territory who's got one and who knows how to run it. Not anymore. Come on, let's get out of here. Why? They're attacking. Those are Martian sand ships, Emmy. And I took a shot at one of those Martians this morning. Have you forgotten? Come on. Well, where are we going? Get the town. Come on, get in the truck. sand ship. No, thank you. There's no time to argue. I've been using this ship the last few weeks to transport supplies. I can do it. Don't get us killed in this thing. Ah, there's nothing to it, really. I'll just let the sail out. Ah, there, there. <sighs> what happens now? Uh, we should be moving. Ah, oh, the anchor. I forgot to pull a sand anchor. Here. There. if they wanted. They just didn't trust. Oh, come off it. I outran them. They just weren't quick enough, that's all. Weren't they? They're getting closer. Look. Don't worry. I've learned a few tricks with this thing. All I gotta do is go move. back. What? Who said that? Go back. Turn this ship around. Sam? Look behind you. Huh? Who? Who are you? What are you doing on my ship? 
Get off. This isn't your ship. It's as old as our world. It sailed the sand seas 10,000 years ago when the seas were whispered away and the docks were empty. You're not real. You're some sort of vision, a ghost. Turn around and go back to the crossroads. We have need to talk with you. No! You're trying to trick me. Now get off my ship. You must return at once. I mean it! Jump off or I'll shoot you! Don't! I'll count to three, then I'm pulling the trigger. I won't hurt you. Neither will the others. One! Listen to me. Sam, listen to the girl. Two! We only want to talk. Sam! Three! We need to... She's gone. She just turned into smoke. This is crazy. Emmy? Emmy, listen to me. There's nothing to hear, Sam. We'll be in town soon. Then we'll be safe. Then they'll see. I'll show them. They can't harass me and get away with it. I'll show them. I'll show everybody. Go ahead. Show us, Sam. Here comes one of their old cities. A few bullets will fix all those crystal towers. Ha! Hey, hey, how's that? Ha! <laughs> Did you see that? No more city. Oops, I missed one. There. Let me look. They're closing in. The ships are cutting me off. I, I can't stop them. They've outnumbered me. Stop the ship, Sam. Oh, it's no use. Oh, I'm stopping. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll put out the anchor. Anything? It was all a mistake. I'm an honest man. You just ask anybody. I just wanted to to build the best little hot dog stand you ever saw, right back on the highway. The only hot dog stand on Mars, with the best hot dogs you ever tasted. You know, with chili and onions and maybe some orange juice. Here's my gun. Right here. You can have it. There. I give up. Pick up your gun. Uh, what? Your gun. Pick it up. Put it away. Oh, sure. Sure. Now, turn your ship around and go back to your stand. We will not harm you. You won't? You ran away before we could explain. Please. Return to the crossroads with us. Come. Sure. We'll come back. <laughs> you betcha. Emmy? Emmy, did you hear that? They aren't going to hurt us. They just want to talk. Come on. We're going back. Sure, Sam. Whatever you say. Well, <laughs> this is it. Uh, sorry we don't have room for all of you inside, but... Prepare yourselves. Prepare the viands. Prepare the foods and wines. For tonight is indeed a great night. I don't, uh, understand. Prepare your place of food. And take this. What is it? Sam, that looks like what the other Martian tried to give us this morning. The scroll... Has the same picture, right? Yeah, yeah. It is a deed 
to all of the territory from the Silver Mountains to the Blue Hills, from the Dead Salt Sea to the distant valleys of Moonstones and Emerald. For me? Mine? Yours. All of it? One hundred thousand miles of territory. Do you hear that, Emmy? He's giving me all the land. As far as we can see. But why? Why are you giving me all this? That's not all. Here. Take these. Look at this. Six more scrolls. More land. I, I must own half of Mars. Emmy, did you hear me? I heard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Tonight is the night. You must prepare. Be ready. Oh, I will be. <laughs> what is it? A surprise? Are the Earth rockets coming earlier than I thought? <laughs> you must know something I don't, eh? Thousands of men coming to work and eat. And me with the only hot dog stand on the busiest highway next to the busiest mine on Mars. We leave you now. Prepare. The land is yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> Come back sometime when, uh, when you're good and hungry. <laughs> It'll be on the house. <laughs> Emmy. Emmy, come on. We gotta get busy. All the hot dogs boiled, the buns warm, the chili cooking. <laughs> We've got a big night ahead of us. Come on. all the onions. <laughs> oh, boy, am I happy, huh? <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm crying. <laughs> or maybe it's just the onions. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's my lucky day, all right. <laughs> hey, how are those hot dogs coming up? Huh? Enough to feed an army. Oh, just think. That Martian set a surprise tonight. I was surprised enough when they gave me all their land. Can you believe it? Uh, Gee. <laughs> I hope we've got enough napkins. I wasn't expecting all this business quite so soon. If the rockets show up tonight, there'll be 10,000 people on the highway by morning. Uh. <laughs> tonight of all nights, <laughs> we'll be flooded. Just think of the money we'll make. Listen, you better start peeling some potatoes. I don't want to run low on French. Uh. Boy, what a night. Hey, hey wait, wait, wait. Forget the potatoes for a minute, huh? Let's run out and check the sky and see if those rockets are coming, huh? Come on. All right. Oh, boy. It's a beautiful night out here. It almost reminds me of the sagebrush we smelled on that uh, trip to Arizona one time. <laughs> you see anything? No rockets. Oh, look at Earth tonight. <laughs> Good old Earth. <laughs> Good old wonderful Earth. <laughs> Send me your hungry and your starved. <laughs> Here's Sam Parkhill, his hot dogs all boiled, his chili cooking, everything neat as a pin. <laughs> Come on, Earth, send me your rockets. Come on, it's getting chilly out here. Yeah. I guess we should uh, finish up inside. The rockets. You hear them? Martians are right. Tonight is the night. No, Sam, not the rockets. Look. What is it? It's Earth. Oh, it can't be. It can't be Earth. You mean it couldn't be Earth? It's caught fire. No. It's burning. It's 
It's not Earth. It's not possible. It's not. Well, switch on more lights. Turn up the music. Open the doors. There'll be another batch of customers along in about a million years or so. Oh, great place for a hot dog stand. Yes, sir. No. No. <laughs> Let you in on a little secret, Sam. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be an off season. 